Welcome back to Virtual Reality. My name is Thomas and you're watching Voodoo DVR. Today I have a really awesome video for you. We will try Pluto Sphere. What is that? You can play high-end PC VR games without a PC on the Oculus Quest or Quest 2. This is absolutely crazy. How does that work? Um, it's even wireless, so you, you don't need a PC. Um, just um, go um, to Plutosphere and then you have an online PC. You have an online PC and how this works, you, you need a very strong internet connection of course. I will show you a complete setup and tutorial how to set it up and after that we will try how does it look and how good is the reaction when you play Half-Life Alyx or Beat Saber. Yeah, you can find everything about VR and AR on this channel thanks to my sponsors Vodkos VR, Oppermann Events, Peter Wasmeyer, Virtual Escape and Adams Group. Let's have some fun with the video and let's go! Okay guys, and before we start playing, <laughs> I want to show you how to set up Plutosphere. So, uh, the first thing, of course, is that you have to uh, uh, get access to Plutosphere. Not everybody will get access to the beta version. So, you have to apply for um, access and how uh, the, the link to Plutosphere, I will put in the description below. Just make an account there and hope that, that, you, that they will accept you. Not everybody will be accepted now. So, then if you have... Um, been accepted, you have to fill out a survey. They will ask you about your computer and uh, your age or whatever. Uh, just fill it out and then go to your Pluto Sphere account. This looks like this here. Uh, it will show you some stuff here. I, I didn't, I uh, blended it out here. Uh, um, and now, very important is click on start because this starts your virtual computer in the internet. Yeah, This is the same than your buttons on your PC. Start it and wait like five minutes um, because it's uh, booting and then it says Plutosphere status running. This is what is very important, okay? After that, you need a so-called desktop vision account. That's the same than remote desktop connection. With this, you can access your PC in the internet. So they made an account for me. I have no idea if you have to do it yourself. Uh, the link to Desktop Vision is in the description below. Please make sure if you, if they didn't create an account for you, you have to use the same email address than your Plutosphere account. Very important. And then your PC, your online PC is connected and will be listed here. Yeah, it will be listed here. And then you can just click on this button. Yeah, click on this button and then it will uh, show up your um, remote PC. And here we are. This is what you perhaps already know. Everything is prepared. This is how it looked when I connected first time. So uh, they prepared everything. They installed Steam. They even installed Half-Life Alyx. <laughs> but Attention, this is not for free. It's only installed. Of course, you need a license for that on your Steam account. So, log in with your Steam account. And uh, for me, um, I didn't uh, uh, click on remember the password. I, uh, so, I'm a, peep, I'm a person, uh, I trust no one. <laughs> so, uh, I will not leave my password on a computer that is not mine. Okay? So, if... It's your decision. Of course, it's easier when you click on remember your password, then you don't need the two-factor authentication every time, but I will not do that. Just whatever, log into your Steam account and then you can just download all the games you want. Beat Saber, Half-Life, Alex, Onboard, Pavlov, uh, Skyrim, whatever. Download what you do, put it in the queue. You can put like whatever, 30 games in the queue, it will download it and it, the connection is very fast. I can show you, this is the PC, the uh, remote PC for me. It has 500 gigabytes and uh, it has an NVIDIA Tesla T4 GPU. I have no idea what that is. And an Intel Xeon Platinum 8259CL CPU. I have no idea about this, but it works. <laughs> so uh, you can download all the stuff and then 
please, before you close the connection, um, make sure Steam is logged in and Steam VR is started. It needs to be started, otherwise it won't work. Please uh, don't care about this message. It says, please plug in your VR headset. It will be plugged in uh, when we start it on Quest 2. So this is how it should look. Locked in and so. After that, you can close um, the desktop vision connection, but be very careful. I made a huge mistake. I clicked on this icon and said stop service or whatever, and then you will never have access to your online PC again, you, have, you will have to ask the support then. <laughs> so make sure you just close the browser window. Do not use this like me. <laughs> okay, so you are finished uh, with this now. And after that, uh, we will continue on SideQuest. If you have no idea what SideQuest is and how you can um, set it up to connect it to your Quest, I already made a video about this. You can find it in the info cards now. So do this and make sure two things. So your quest must be connected. So everything must be green here. Uh, and you need to um, create a side quest account. If you don't have it, go here and say um, sign up and then create an account here and make sure here it says logged in as and your name. Very important, these two things connected and logged in. After that, you will go on this globe button here and it say, and go and say, go to URL. And you will get a very long URL from um, Plutosphere. They will send it via email and copy this link and put it here into go to URL. And then you will get to this page here. This is the last thing you have to do on your PC and click on install to headset. It will install it to your Oculus Quest then. After that, you can disconnect everything and um, disconnect your Quest, close side Quest and everything else we do under the Oculus Quest, Oculus Quest 2. So put on your headset and go to your library and make sure you go on the right side to unknown sources, otherwise a Plutosphere app will not show up. Unknown sources and then please start the Plutosphere app and you have to log in once to your Plutosphere account that you created at the first part. Log in, then close everything again and then go again to your library unknown sources and start Plutosphere again. After that, yeah, you are ready you will see the Steam VR environment. You can do whatever you want on the left controller menu button, open the Steam VR library and start any game you want like Half-Life Alyx, Beat Saber and everything that you um, installed when, you, when we uh, were on the desktop vision desktop, on the Plutosphere desktop. Yeah, that's it guys. And now let's check out how it works. Is it cool to play Half-Life Alyx and Beat Saber via a internet PC. We will check it out. Make sure you are next to your router because then the connection will be better. So yeah, let's check it out now. Okay guys, and here we are in the SteamVR environment and uh, sorry that you see me in the green room here, but in my green room is my router, so I had to record it here. And I um, suggest that you do the same. Play in the same room than your Wi-Fi router, otherwise it could uh, get some more problems. So, as you can see, we have our Oculus Touch controllers and the reaction is pretty good here. It shakes a little bit here, but uh, I think this is uh, fine. And uh, just go on your left controller in the menu options and go here. And you can uh, play the games as you wish. So you have to play around a little bit with the resolution here. So I think it was uh, on this setting here, but uh, if, if there are too many artifacts or it's too slow, just play around with these settings here. Go on uh, settings and here on resolution per eye and then uh, you can play around a little bit. Depends on your internet connection and on, on all the stuff. I have a 1100 megabit download and 55 megabit upload. And uh, I think that's a pretty strange 
a pretty uh, strong connection. <laughs> so uh, let's start Half-Life Alex. And uh, I will not cut out the loading time so that you can see uh, how strong the online PC is and how long uh, are the loading times. Um, here we are. And um, it says loading. Yeah. And this is uh, really interesting here. <laughs> Cannot believe that I am really doing that. That's so cool. An online PC. Holy shit. <laughs> okay. And now let's uh, go for any, any, whatever here. This, this is my favorite. And uh, I think you can already see uh, the artifacts here. So uh, the, the um, reaction of the controllers is pretty good. It's, it's nearly real time, uh, but the graphics doesn't doesn't really look good. Uh, so it's, it has a lot of artifacts here uh, and I'm not sure. Um, yeah, you, as I said, play a little bit around with the settings um, and then you, uh, on, my, on my German part, the, um, the quality was a little bit better. I, I, I have no idea what changed now, but as, as, uh, as I said, play a little bit around with the settings. Uh, but look at this here, we can, so cool we can play around with that uh, and it just works uh, it, ju it just works and it's totally direct here you can play the stuff and of course it, it depends on your current internet connection so don't do anything else in your in your um, <laughs> A home network just or, or streaming or uploading stuff at the same time or downloading whatever don't do this otherwise it could get um, even worse but I think um, I um, this is um, how it works here so especially in the areas with dark environment it looks pretty bad here but uh, it changes all the time. For, for now, it looks a bit, little bit better now. Um, it depends. It depends. I think my internet connection is a little bit weak right now. Uh, but yeah, check out my, my German video there. The, connect, the, the quality is a little bit better of the gameplay. Uh, perhaps it's the bad connection right now. Whatever. But uh, as I said, play a little bit around with the settings. Also very important, please, uh, I will contact the developers again if they have any um, clues or tips how to improve the connection. Uh, I will put it in the description below, so please check out the description all the time. I will update this frequently to give you good tips how to improve the quality of the gameplay. And, but but I mean you can play it yeah it's it's just uh, no problem and there is no no really lag that it, it's just uh, fine to play it yeah so yeah let's quit that and uh, we can still play a little bit let's put that on auto advanced settings uh, steam VR so let's check it out here everything is on auto perhaps that's this is better uh, we will see and uh, let's go for beat saber yeah beat saber here we are here we are and let's go for solo and let's play it on hard i'm not so good at this so you, you know, <laughs> you all already see the artifacts again here, I think. It doesn't look good. It, it looks very bad, to be honest, but could be my internet connection. But as you can see, uh, the reaction is uh, really good. So there is no problem to play this game. I mean, you can just play it on the, on the quest natively, but I want to show you the reaction of the, of the tracking and stuff. And as you can see, uh, that, that's not a problem here. Mm. 
Yeah. It works. No problem here. So yeah, guys, that's uh, that's it. Um, as I said, please definitely check the description. So I will give you tips how to improve that. Um, but I would say we've seen that the tracking is really good. Let's go back to the studio and talk about it. Pluto sphere, guys. So yeah, you've seen that, how it works, how you set up it and how you play it. Um, my opinion is uh, good on one side and bad on the other side. Very good is the reaction. So I don't even see uh, that there's a, a big delay. There's even nearly no delay. A little bit. It depends on your connection. It's really good. But on the other side, the graphics quality is um, from time to time very bad. But the problem is it depends on so many factors. Um, where you play, in which room you play, how good is your router, how many people are around you, how many um, disturbing other Wi-Fi's are in your environment and all, all this stuff. Um, and of course it depends on your internet connection. It could have a, a lag or whatever and it depends on your settings on Steam. So many factors that uh, have influence on the graphics quality. So on my German gameplay, I had a better quality. So perhaps my internet connection changed or whatever. I don't know. It's, it really depends. But we have to note that this is only a beta version. They will improve that, of course. And as I already said, please, guys, look in the description below. If I get some hints or tips from the, the, from the developers, <laughs> then I will put them in the description below to improve your video quality. Please definitely check it out. I will frequently um, update the description. I really hope you liked this review of Pluto Sphere. If yes, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to support me, that would really help, guys. One buck per month, you get behind the scenes videos and early access to my videos from Patreon or YouTube membership. Check out the link in the description below. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and see you next time in virtual reality. See ya! Wudu.de